Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the Creality CR Scan Lizard. I'll be showing you guys how you can scan any 3D object and import it into Unreal Engine 5. Big thank you to Creality for sponsoring this video and sending me this product to review. And if you guys are interested in the CR Scan Lizard, use the link and code in the description below to get 15% off your purchase. So check the description if you guys are interested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So this is the Creality 3D Scan Lizard. This is the box that it comes in. Well, technically there's another box that ships over this, but I'll go ahead and unbox this and tell you guys a little bit more about the 3D scanner. The Creality 3D Scan Lizard can accurately capture the finest detail with a whopping accuracy of up to 0.05 millimeters. This utilizes near infrared invisible light and is a high precision 3D scanner that is affordable and has friendly pricing when compared to other high precision 3D scanners on the market. So here is everything that you get inside of the box. As you can see, we get this really nice carrying case that comes included, very high quality. And once we open it up, there's a lot of stuff. This is what all comes included. We have the CR scan lizard, this nice electronic turntable where you can place your 3D objects onto and it will automatically spin. You have the power cable and it comes with a lot of different power adapters. So depending on where you live, which is a really nice feature. Uh, you get a USB that comes with all the software. You can also download the software you know, directly from their website. It also comes with this little tripod stand for the 3D scanner. And it also doubles as a little handle that you can use to hold the 3D scanner, which I'll show later on. You also get this user manual and quick start guide. And yeah, this is just all the stuff that you get in the package. Getting it all hooked up and installing the software is really quick and easy. Uh, the CR Scan Lizard comes with this program called CR Studio 2.0, which is currently the most up-to-date version. The CR Studio program is what you use to capture your 3D objects. It's super simple and easy to use. You have uh, different modes. You can either hand scan objects by holding the scanner and manually scanning an object, or you can use the turntable mode to scan objects on the little electronic turntable. I'm gonna be scanning a couple of different objects in this video to show off the type of scanning detail that this 3D scanner can pick up, including this dinosaur model that I bought off Amazon. As you can see, there's a lot of detail on this and I'm gonna be scanning it and bringing it into Unreal Engine 5 so we can all see the results. Now, once you have this scanner hooked up and all the software installed, all you really have to do is click scan and you can start scanning the 3D model. The CR Scan Lizard is a real-time lifesaver. Uh, it uses intelligent algorithms that make 3D scanning as easy as taking a video. You don't even have to place little stick markers to capture detail or depth. But with the CR Scan Lizard, you just click the scan button and start capturing all the fine details of the target with no marker scanning. The CR Scan Lizard also features multi-byte scanning, which means you can switch between different scanning modes to find the most suitable one under various circumstances. The CR Scan Lizard can scan from 15 millimeters to 1500 millimeters. So here I am scanning the first object that we have here. The first object that you see me scanning here is this little cardboard drink carrying tray. I chose this object because there's, you know, a lot of little detail here on this cardboard. And I was wondering how well the CR Scan Lizard would pick everything up. And as you can see, it's really easy to scan things. You just move around the object and it picks up all the little details. So I just finished scanning the whole object. And once you are finished, you head over to the CR Studio program and click Stop Scanning. It will show you the result, which you can process and processing will automatically fix up, clean up, and prepare the mesh for you to export. By the way, the CR Studio program was just recently updated. Currently on version 2.0, it has a brand new UI design, which is clearer in visual presentation and more convenient for users to edit the model. It has, you know, optimization algorithms to avoid losing track and has more accurate base calculation. The CR Studio supports OTA online updates for free and Creality will check the software regularly and timely fix the anomalies. They also are continuously developing new features and comprehensively improving the user experience for the program. Let's go ahead and export this mesh. Uh, you can just click here export to OBJ and so I'll go ahead and just import this to Blender and export it as a FBX that way we can 
import it to Unreal Engine 5. Then to get it into Unreal Engine 5, you just drag the FBX file and import it. And yeah, here we are. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job at capturing all that little detail. And the neat thing is in Unreal Engine 5, we can just right click this mesh and click enable nanite so we can handle all this high detailed mesh with no issues so you can see here the wireframe mode you can see how detailed this mesh is and if we go ahead and switch over to nanite you can see that we can handle all this detail with no relative issues within unreal engine 5. now the next thing we're going to scan is this little nerf gun another neat thing about the cr scan lizard is that you can scan dark objects and the CR scan laser maintains excellent performance even in bright sunlight. This breakthrough relies on high precision binocular camera system with a self-developed multi-spectral optical system, which vastly improves light adaptability, allowing the CR scan laser to have more scanning targets and even outdoor scanning becomes an easy job. Another feature that the CR scan laser has is that it has a 15 millimeter scannable volume that allows artists and users to scan more products, even miniature objects. So here we are, we have this nerf gun we can go ahead and import this model into unreal engine 5 and again we have a lot of great detail and it was able to pick up all the texture on the side here and as you can see i can go in the wireframe mode and show you guys again how detailed the meshes are when you scan it and all you have to do is enable nanite on the mesh and you can see all the triangles easily being rendered inside of unreal engine 5. All right, so the last thing that we're going to try and scan here is this dinosaur model. And so I bought this thing off Amazon and it's actually pretty big. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. It's about a foot long or 300 millimeters. And as you can see, there's a lot of detail on this model. Uh, you can see every little scale. And I mean, there's just a lot of texture and detail on this model. And so we're gonna go ahead and scan this and see how it turns out. And so here I am, I'm manually scanning the object and we're capturing all that nice little detail. Okay, so I just finished scanning the model. And so I have the model scanned here in the CR Studio. And by the way, the CR Studio allows you to connect the program with Creatality Cloud and the 3D model can be uploaded to the database with slicing and printed completely with just one click, which is really quite handy. Uh, there's also a neat sharing functionality if you want to share your 3D model with other people. So let's go ahead and import this into Unreal Engine 5 and check out all the detail. All right, so we got this thing imported. And I've got to say, this actually looks really good. The CR Scan Lizard was able to pick up a lot of that detail on the model. I mean, we can see the wrinkling on the skin here and a lot of the different scales on the spine. It was able to pick up all of that little detail. And we can also enable Nanite on this mesh as well so that we can take advantage of that automatic optimization inside of Unreal Engine 5. Here is a wireframe as well. You can just see how detailed this mesh is. And this mesh has over 400,000 triangles. So you can see here all the different triangles in the Nanite mode. And again, Unreal Engine 5 just has absolutely no issues with it you don't have to retopologize or optimize the mesh you can just directly import it to unreal engine and just enable nanite on the mesh all right so here are some scenes showcasing the scan inside of unreal engine 5 so i have this redwoods forest scene and i got the dinosaur model right here and we can just see the lighting in this scene on the model and it looks pretty good in this little redwoods biome forest there are actually a lot more dinosaur models that you guys can try and test out and scan and it'd be interesting to try and rig this one to see if i could animate it for maybe like a little short scene all right so here's our other little scene this is the broadleafs forest and by the way these are from the unreal engine marketplace but yeah, as you can see, the lighting on here is crazy. I mean, you can see all the shadows from the wrinkles of skin. And this is not a normal map. This is all geometry, which was captured and scanned by the scan lizard. So this is all the real-time lighting and shadows that you can see here. And Unreal Engine 5 definitely does a good job of showcasing what is possible with the Creality 3D scan lizard. So overall, we were able to scan three different objects and I've got to say the CR scan lizard does a great job at capturing 3D objects and scanning them. It was able to capture very high detailed objects and it's very quick and easy to use. Scanning 3D objects is really as easy as taking a video below use code liz blog for a discount off your purchase you can also purchase it off amazon use code 15 off scan for 15 percent off your purchase and again a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video i had a lot of fun working on 
scanning all the 3D models and importing it into Unreal Engine 5. And I'm really pleased with the results that we got out of these scans. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Maybe if you have some different suggestions on what other types of 3D objects I can scan and test out with the CR Scan Lizard. Make sure you guys also leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.